Hi, for this in-service presentation, I'm going to show you how to make a screencast. A screencast is simply a video of your computer screen with added audio narration and sometimes a video component if you'd like to turn on your webcam. It's a great way to supplement in-class instruction or even record some of the things that you find particularly useful and you want students to revisit. I like to record a screencast of library resources some of the presentations that I go over in class and it's a great way for students to come back to those on their own time uh, and see something that visual audio uh, together and I've got great responses from students especially when I go over assignments or show how to use the library databases um, they love having videos to go to for instruction um, so it's really just going to record anything that you see on your computer screen and there's a number of different applications uh, software packages for you know re recording screencasts but one of the easiest ones is screener.com and notice the atypical spelling there sort of like Flickr I like screener it's free um, and you don't need to install any software it's web based so you can just click record uh, and start from there and lastly you can upload easily to YouTube high definition it's very simple uh, the only downside is they limit you with the free account to a five minute uh, screencast so you want to kind of keep it short or break it up into multiple sections so the first thing when you come to screener.com uh, if you're not logged in well here I'm already logged in but if I sign out um, you'll see that there is no screener.com sort of account that you need to create. You log in either with Twitter, Facebook, a Google profile, or Yahoo. And so if you don't have one of those, you'd, you'd want to create one. Um, I like having a Google account, but this record button, you just click it. And it's going to, at first time, ask you to run a Java applet, and you can just uh, click run or accept. And now you'll see that you have these dotted lines around border you can drag and drop them and actually adjust how much of the screen you want to record so you can cut off you know your tabs at the top or bring things in on the side um, and down here at the very bottom you see your red record button you click that when you're ready to begin and you'll click this will be while you're recording it'll say done and it will be a green button and you'll finish that when you're done um, this here is your audio you know, we can see that the audio is in fact working so we'll just click record <clears throat> and we get this little countdown you prepare and now we are recording the screen and this would be a time where maybe I was gonna come show a presentation that I went over in class and in my office I could just record myself um, going through this presentation and it's something that the students could come back to and this one is about quoting and paraphrasing and, you know just be something that they could look at at their own time. I can come to different websites and show students how to search the library catalog. I can even open up Word documents. Here we have Professor Hedge's business communication syllabus and I could go over some of the policies that I find particularly important that I want students to have access to. So when you're finished with your presentation you just come over here and you click done. And now we need to publish our screencast. And this is how you'll sign in. You know, I've already signed in, but you just type in your Facebook or Twitter or Google profile. Do you want to allow? Yes. And here's a little preview if you want to look at it. You need to put in a short description of your screencast. And so I can put tutorial test whatever you have you know 100 characters and click publish and the publishing time is uh, is fairly fast you know a uh, two minute video will usually take about two minutes to publish one minute video one minute to publish and our video has published and now you have a couple of options here you can uh, share your video you can grab the embed and actually embed it into your course website or desire to learn you could 
give students the URL, or you can download as an MP4. This is a great feature. You can publish right to YouTube, put in your username and password. The nice thing about YouTube is you can add captions on YouTube. So after you upload your YouTube video, if you go to your YouTube account, you can add in some uh, overlay captions if you'd like to do that.